I've had sinus problems a long time, uh, generally allergic to something. I think since 9-11, uh, what I found when that was that, that after that it started to get more acute. We obviously were two blocks away from the buildings coming down and we were exposed to a lot of the dust that came down. Polyps form by an immunological reaction. Uh, so most of us are exposed to fungus, dust, um, other allergens and the lining of our nose doesn't react. Unfortunately for patients uh, with polyps, they actually are having an immune reaction to these uh, foreign bodies. These polyps can actually grow and become quite extensive, uh, pushing the eyes and brain over. Uh, I started to have uh, a need to go to emergency rooms. I've been using a specialist internist down in uh, Philadelphia for 20 years plus, who we trust implicitly. Um, he's part of the Jefferson Hospital. And uh, he basically said, uh, I recommended I go see Dr. Schauberg. He said that it was his first choice. Uh, she said that all the chambers were full of polyps. She couldn't believe how many there were. She actually wondered how I was breathing. Um, but basically said that the only way to get rid of them was to have surgery. So the real uh, benefit of endoscopic surgery is that it truly is uh, minimally invasive. There's no incisions on the outside of the body. Uh, all the surgery is done with a very small camera and very small instruments working through the nasal cavity. The other key component of this surgery that we use is the image-guided system. Uh, so for all patients, we'll get a CT scan or MRI. We can then use that during the surgery to ensure we are uh, at the location we think we're at. I would liken it to a GPS system. This is a CAT scan of a patient with severe polyps. You can see here the polyp has pushed this bone all the way up on this right side. Because of where the sinuses are located, uh, which is in front of the brain and between the eyes, uh, the, the risks of this surgery, though very, very rare, can be catastrophic. I felt it was risky surgery, which is why I asked if she had a steady hand, because she was going to be close to the brain. But, uh, and then I said I didn't have much of a brain, so it wouldn't be a problem. Polyp surgery and chronic sinusitis surgery in general are really not painful surgeries. About 90% of patients don't even take pain medication. I had the surgery about a year ago. And uh, since that time, I've not had one sinus attack. I haven't been on antibiotics at all. Um, I play golf and I don't get any allergic reactions to whatever may be out there. Um, so since then, I've been 100% sinus free. Over the years, um, because I guess the polyps grew slowly, I never really realized that I'd lost uh, much sense of my smell as well as taste. Most patients who think that they've lost their sense of taste have actually lost their sense of smell. So it's really um, your, your nerves, your olfactory nerves that allow you to smell are in the very, very top of the nose. So anything that's blocking air from getting to the top of the nose will give you a decreased sense of smell. I've just done a trip to uh, Bangkok where they have a lot of street vendors selling food. And uh, it was funny, as I walked past, I could smell every food vendor, whatever they were cooking. And the taste came back a little slower, but uh, came back afterwards. Yeah. I think Dr. Sharwag is great. She remedied it quickly, diagnosed it properly, treated me late. I could find her on her cell phone if there was an issue because I was in Bucks County, uh, but uh, great doctor. Really pleased that I followed her to New York. <laughs>